Saskatchewan Rough Riders has said they're not talking about Josiah St. John anymore, but that doesn't mean that you and I can't. Justin, what's the most likely scenario for this kid ending up in Saskatchewan? Well, in all of Rider Nation, Drew, clearly they want to talk about it. He was trending on Twitter the other day when we <laughs> broke the story. But good morning, rain. I know. What's the most likely scenario? I feel like it has to be that Josiah shows up just before the regular season. And why is that, Drew? Because the money starts rolling in. The paychecks, that's what these players are all after. Obviously, they want to get paid. And I feel like the most likely scenario is Josiah showing up just before the regular season so he doesn't have to go through all of training camp and have to be worried about a risk of injury. And then he can be there to start collecting those checks. Now, he doesn't have to show up. Uh, for the first game of the season in order to qualify for a year of service. He could show up before the last game of the season and get his one year of service, which would count towards you know, his one plus one. Now, there are many reasons why he won't do that, money being one, football experience being another, but he could potentially show up right before the last game of the season, and that would be his first year for his one plus one. Like I said, I don't think he's going to do that, but he could if he wanted Smart point by you, Drew, because I don't think there's a lot of people out there that knew that that was a possibility of a way of getting a year of service. Now, would Josiah do that? I don't think so, because you want to be playing football. As you said, you want to be in football shape. You want to be developing, and you want to have yourself as being looked at by other teams around the league as an up-and-coming prospect, because if you do play out that one-on-one deal and go to free agency, you want suitors to come after you. Should the Riders look at trading him? Oh, that's the interesting question, right? It's clear that Josiah and his camp want to trade, but what kind of value does he have to other teams at the moment? Because if you're another team, you've already paid the signing bonus to, let's say, your first-round pick, you know, whether it was a Ticats, Brandon Revenberg, or on down the list, you've already paid that signing bonus. So if you're going to trade somebody and then have to pay out another signing bonus for Josiah, it probably doesn't make too much sense at this point. Maybe it makes more sense to trade for some future assets, draft picks, or current maybe veteran players. Yeah, I don't see the Riders trading him. I think if you're trying to draw a line in the sand about this kid, trying to make a point, that trading him doesn't allow you to do that, right? It essentially, you're acquiescing to the players' demands. I also don't think that anyone's going to give the Riders what they want. They're talking about multiple first-round picks or whatever. That's not coming their way. I just don't see anybody giving up you know, more than a first-round pick to get this kid. The Riders tried to generate a market for the first overall pick uh, during the draft and couldn't do that because teams were satisfied with what they could get in the first round regardless. So I don't see anybody paying a king's ransom for this kid. The other interesting thing that's going on in Saskatchewan is the reaction of the players. Darren Durant was talking over the weekend about the fact that they would accept uh, St. John whenever he showed up. I don't think players begrudge other players doing what they need to do to get their money. They definitely don't, and Darian Durant knows all about the business part of football, Drew, because he's been through it. He's had injuries. He's had to restructure his contract, which he just did coming into the 2016 season. So he understands it. He gets it, as do all the other players in the league, because they're fighting to get as much money as they can as well, and that's exactly what Josiah is trying to do. And it doesn't matter if he's proven or not. He's the number one pick. He feels that has a certain value, so that's the value he wants to get in his contract. Everybody wants the money, Justin. They all want the money. We all want the money. Cash money! (laughs) 